Yes, it's uh, hardly worth getting your step mucky for, Mrs Walker. No. <laughs> Are you stopping for a bit, Mrs Walker? Nothing. In here? Well, there's nothing on telly. No. I thought perhaps you wouldn't mind holding the fort for a couple of minutes. Oh, bet not again. Well, I only want to turn the down. Look, when I gave you permission to finish early on account of Mr Baldwin's dinner party, it was against my better judgment. I mean, you do know Elizabeth isn't in, and if Fred's late... Well... I know that, Mrs Walker, and it was very good of you. What I didn't bargain for was that you would be running off every five minutes as well. But no buts, please. Now, if Mr Baldwin ever wants to hold another function at which your services are indispensable, I would be obliged if he would do it on your night off. Yes, Mrs. Walker. I can think of plenty of employers who would have put their foot down long before now and with every justification. So can I, Mrs. Walker, and I reckon I'm dead lucky that you're not one of them. Five minutes, promise. Yeah, all right. Well, put it in jog. It'll not cool like that. It, then? Oh, yes. There's just this lot to finish. Another pile of washing in there. Dirty pots. There's not all that many. Not to mention Tracy to feed. And it's just down to this place looking like a muck hole. Uh, we'll tidy it when we get back. Never used to be like this. We never used to have a baby then, did we? Eh? No. no. Mm. Hey, come on, love. My mum will be up in a minute. Story of our lives these days, isn't She it? has been a great help. Wouldn't be going out tonight if it wasn't for her. And Tracy is the biggest thing that's happened to her for a long time. She does have her uses, I suppose. Of course, you know what my mum needs, don't you? Ha! <laughs> You're joking. She wants to settle down, get a fella of her own. She's got a lot to give to the right fella, has my mum. What makes you think she hasn't found one? What, you mean Steve? You've not seen the way she looks at him. Ah, but the thing is, how does he feel about her? Well, it's for your mum to find out. Listen, love, um, I'll be about another half hour yet. Why don't you take him out for a drink and have a little chat with him? You what? Well, you might be able to find out how his mind's working. It's not to do with us. She is my mum. Please. Do you know, I reckon he doesn't stand a chance. If your mum's half as crafty as you... Come in. Yeah, come on, she's her asleep. Hello, Steve. Hello. Um, Ray wants to take you out for a drink. Oh, I thought I was babysitting. Oh, it's only till I'm ready. I mean, you'll, you'll have seen enough of dirty nappies, a bit tired nights out. Yeah, come on, Steve. Okay, I'm getting a taste for the Rover's beer. Back in half an hour, Blanche. Uh, yeah, OK, then. No hurry. Somewhat going on, then, is there? Now, what should there be going on? Is that bottle ready yet? Hang on. Yeah, another minute. We can't wait much longer, can we, my precious little love? Ma'am? Yeah? I've been thinking. You can go to night school for it. I'm trying to be serious. You know, when I was asking you about you and Steve last night... Yeah. ...and you said you were just good friends... Mm. ...you weren't telling the truth, were you? Of course I was. We are just friends. Oh, come on, ma'am. Come on, nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever thought of settling down again? You what? You heard? Well? I am settled, aren't I? Good job, nice place to live. That is not what I meant, and you know it. If you want to know if I fancy getting wed again, why don't you say so? I do want to know. I haven't had any offers, have I? What about Steve? What about him? <laughs> I just thought he might have asked you. Well, he hasn't. And if he did? He hasn't. Who's a hungry little girl, then? Look, Mum, it's only because I think you'd be better off married. And this kid would be better off fed. Coming up. Hey, 
There they are, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, not exactly like Blanche's country club, but uh, she does try and make up for it. A fair old pint, though. Fair old people, too. Very friendly. Yeah, most of them. There's good and bad, same as everywhere. You know, that was one of the first things that struck me about Blanche. She's naturally friendly and very honest with herself. <laughs> she was like a breath of fresh air among all that chrome and plastic of the club. I'll bet she doesn't get on with everybody. She has a row. doesn't suffer fools gladly. Oh, she's uh, told me a few old truths. And I like her. You uh, ever thought of getting itched again? I've been very cautious. You see, I know lots of couples who are on their second time round, and a few more are as good as. I suppose it rubs off a bit, but uh, <laughs> the older I get, the more wary I am. Well, some folks get knocked down crossing the road. Doesn't mean to say you've got to stop on the same side all your life. No, but it does make you look both ways before you step off the pavement. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it does. You seem happily married. Yes, we uh, have us ups and downs. Our Deirdre's all right. Better than that. Hmm. Much like her mother? Very like, I'd say. <laughs> Look who's just come in, Ernest. Mm -hmm. At the bar. Yes. I haven't seen her in here in the evening before. Thelma. Where's Thelma? It's a free country. She does know where she stands, as far as you're concerned, does she, Ernest? You have told her. I haven't had a minute to myself all day, love. I see. No, obviously you don't see. I've been up to my neck ever since I went to the factory this morning. I've completely forgotten about Thelma. I've had more important things to think. You promised me faithfully you'd have a word with her. Put her straight about. You put an end yes, to her I unwelcome Yes, I did and I will, but I simply haven't had the time. There's no need to shout. I'm sorry. Not had time, you see. No. Said. Well, you've got it now. Now? I'll go and make some supper. I'll see you later. Shall we say in about ten minutes? But you nearly cut me off in my prime. Well, I thought light were on. Well, since when has that been a signal for you? Come and scare the pants off me. Here you're over closed. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Me floor! Well, I've got to walk somewhere, yeah. How about fast lane on them one? Oh, what the heck, you're in now. Look, it's just a drop of milk I'm after. And it's a better bit bottle kind, and then Ken can let you have it back in the morning. Milk? Well, you run a cafe, don't you? That's true. And that's been shut two hours and all. Well, I thought perhaps you might have a drop left over. Look, I'll just look through these books while you go and fetch it. Hey, come here. Look, I'll do a deal with you. I'll go and get your bottle out at fridge if you stand still till I come back. Right. Milk. I knew we had none at dinner time. A daft question, but why didn't you get some then? Because I thought I'd kind of fetch it. But he hadn't come back yet. He's, he's gone to one of them uh, conferences. And they're a waste of time and money, if you ask me. Good night, Albert. Well, try very much for it, Mill. Good night, Albert. Do you know, I remember the time when shops like this were open from seven o'clock in the morning to half past ten at night. Mm, they didn't have customers like you to cope with, did they? Hello, Annie. Oh, Thelma. Oh. Uh, is Mrs. Bishop not coming back? Uh, no, no, she's not coming back now. I was supposed to be meeting my friend, but uh, I think I got here a bit early. Oh, yeah. Still, you never know who you bump into, do you? No. Um, look, Thelma, I've been wanting to have a word with you, actually. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult. I hope you won't take it the wrong way. What? Well, I know we see quite a lot of each other, because we work together, you know, and... Uh, but, uh, things can be misinterpreted. What things? Well, well, what I'm trying to say is that it's not gone, gone unnoticed in certain quarters. I mean, you and I know it's all innocent, there's nothing happening, but uh, certain people, well, it's just got to stop, that's all. I mean, we've got to be a little less friendly. You mean you don't want people to think there's something going on? There's nothing going on. I know there isn't. 
And if there's nothing going on, there's nothing to stop, is there? Let me get you another drink. Oh, no, no, I? thanks. I've got to go. Uh, but uh, do try and remember what I said, eh? Oh, good night, then. Good night, Ernie. I don't know how you do it at your age. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> Rev is returned, Mrs. Walker speaking. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Who is it you want? Len? Oh, Ken. No, no, he hasn't been in this evening, I'm afraid. Mm. Right. Bye. Call for Ken. You haven't seen him tonight, have you? No, I haven't. Well, it doesn't matter. She said she'd call again. She? Mm. Didn't give her name. I think she rang earlier. Good evening. Evening. Uh, oh, large scotch, please. No ice. Evening. Evening. Oh, do you happen to know Mr. Baldwin, Mike Baldwin? He comes in here, I believe. He's expecting you, isn't he? Yes, that's right. Yeah, he left a message for you, actually. He's gone over the road to the factory. Ah. He'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Oh, that's a hard life. <laughs> for some. Yes, for some. Hello. I'm not late, am I? Right on the nail, oh. Chuck. Hey, I wish you'd tell me what it was in aid of. Well, you've just come to feed your face, love. Oh, come on, let's have your coat. <laughs> There we are. Oh, Six. Oh. <laughs> there was just one thing, Betty, a little surprise. Surprise? What surprise? He's not come yet. He? Yeah, that's right. A fella. A fella. <laughs> Over. Now, I mean it, Bet. Look, he's just a mate of Mike's. It's just so he won't be the odd man out. Oh, and what does that make me? That Bet Lynch, I could throttle you. Now, look, Betty, what's up with you? There's now to worry about. He's a respectable businessman. Look, come on. Hand it over. I'm having... Don't be so daft, Betty. Oh, daft, am I? Oh, we'll see about that, madam. Now, look, they're here. Now, you can't go now. <sighs> now, do me a favour. Throttle me if you must in the morning, but for now, get in that kitchen and turn them spuds down. Well, go on. Look, if he's not what you say, Betty, oh. go on. Ah. Good evening. Uh, oh, hello. Ben, this is Jack Broadley. Jack, Ben. Ah, pleased to meet you. Well, I'm delighted to meet you, uh, Beth. Oh, thanks. Uh, can I take your coat? Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. You, uh, you go through, Jack. I'll be with you in a minute. Right. Thank you. Uh, where is she? She? Rita. She's not coming. She's what? Not coming. But I told you to... To get a bird. And? I did. Who? You'll see. <clears throat> Betty! Coming. Betty. Hello, Mr Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr Broadley. Jack. Hi. Jack, Betty Turpin. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you. Hello there. Uh, Betty, did you say? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Jack and Betty would like a little drinky, darling. Um, finished? Just about. You're a nothing for work. Come on, come on, sit down. I'm warning you, I may never get up again. I've been on my feet since eight o'clock this morning. And you wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> it puts years on me, does all this, you know. What? Babysitting for my own daughter. Well, I ask you. You look more like sisters. Flattery will get you anywhere. <laughs> Had any pointed questions fired at you since I arrived? From Deirdre? Hmm. Yeah, I have, as a matter of fact. Hey, she hasn't been doing the same. No, not Deirdre, no. Ray in the pub just now. Well, she's put him up to it. No doubt. Little madam. <laughs> what uh, sort of questions? Oh, the usual. It's been going on for years now. Why don't I get married again? And me popping up has given it more significance, hmm? Yeah, well, I suppose it has, really. I mean, you know what women are. Making two and two into an IMF loan. Why don't you marry again? I'll give you the same reason I gave her. Nobody's asked me. I'm not lately. I'll ask you then. Hey. Will you marry me? Just like that? Not as far as I'm concerned. I walked into the club Saturday. No Blanche. What an evening. By ten o'clock I decided the only way to stop you vanishing in the future was to marry you. And then at least you'd have to ask for my permission. Chauvinist pig. <laughs> Will you? 
I'm very ordinary, Steve. Not to mention middle-aged. You're lovely and lovable, and I love you. I think I love you, too. At least I missed you like hell last week. Well, then? I will. For your money. <laughs> you won't be sorry. Trouble is, I'll never convince Deirdre that it's not all her doing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, love. She's in good hands. He's a very nice fella. Yeah, I know. Daft, isn't it? I've been looking forward to a night out like this for yonks, and now I'm here, all I can think of is whether she's all right. Ah, your mum knows what she's about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you never told me how you got on with Steve. Did he say anything about him and me, mum? Not a lot. What about Blanche? Same. Do you know it'd be the mecking of me, mum? Mm. It'd be the mecking of us and all. How do you mean? Well, if she'd just decide to get itched, then we might be able to come to some arrangement over the house. Well, we know where we are about the house. Yes, we do, don't we? Three of us living in a piddly little converted bedroom with the rest of the house going begging for the best part of the year. Hey, it's funny how things change, isn't it? One minute it's a little love nest, and the next it's a piddly little converted bedroom. Things have changed. If she'd just make up her mind, then, like I said, we might be able to come to some arrangement. But she doesn't have to get married first. She's going back to Warwickshire, whether or not. Fancy another wedding here. I like weddings. As long as it's not your own, eh, love? Well, I've done my duty by you, haven't I? And <laughs> don't you like to remind yourself? Hello, he's finally thrown you out, has he? Knock it off, Len. I can do without your witticisms, thank you very much. Unless they come in vodka glasses. I thought you were living it up at Baldwin's tonight. Who else? Well, he's got a mate over there for dinner. I thought you were making a fourth. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just nipped out because I can't stand sight of free booze. Yes, Len? Uh, can I have a vodka and tonic, please? I want a pint for me. Maybe the fella didn't turn up. He did, you know. I was talking to him, didn't he? Don't tell me. Slim, 30-ish? Uh, well, three out of five. Thin, 50-ish. Ah, well, it looks like somebody's done me a favour. Oh, nobody said out to me. Well, if it wasn't you, who the heck is it? <laughs> he only thought they were on a pub crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Walker, that's, that's the lady I saw in the bar. Oh, yeah. Queen Anne herself. <laughs> it's the legs, you know. <laughs> If you could just imagine her having to blow into that little plastic bag, oh, the indignity. <laughs> <laughs> and the ink not even dry on a driving yeah. license. Oh, Don't no. know which was greener, the crystals in the bag of Mrs Walker's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was lucky to get off. We were, you mean. Our lives wouldn't have been worth tuppence if mm. she hadn't. More coffee, Jack. No, not for me, thank you. Betty? <laughs> yes, all right. right. Mike? Uh, no, thanks, love. I'll fancy something a bit stronger. What about you, Jack? Yes, wouldn't mind. Well, I, I'm just going to pay, pay a call. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry. Fine? Yes, yes, that's fine. All right, I'm safe, Thanks, that's enough. Lovely. Look, I'm uh, sorry about Betty. Sorry? Yeah. I was hoping to get you someone a little bit younger, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> now, that I wouldn't have thanked you for. You wouldn't? Well, my name's not Mike Baldwin. For a start, you've got Anno Domini on your side. You weren't at a conference this morning. You weren't driving up the motorway all afternoon. Oh, no, you've nothing to apologise for. Least of all for Betty. I haven't laughed so much in years. She's great company. Cheers. Cheers. Hear that, Ben? Jack's fallen for Betty. <laughs> Fancy. All right? Sleeping like a... I was going to say a baby. <laughs> if they wait, Tracy... Just gone off. That was you, you clown. I'm sorry. I thought you said I was supposed to make a noise. And why had you make a noise? Well, you never know what babysitters are up to, do you? I'll thump you, big as you are. How do you manage with Tracy? All right. Oh, just about. By the way, we're off tomorrow morning. Uh, back to Warwickshire. I thought you were stopping a bit longer. I've got to be back first thing in the morning, I'm afraid. You don't have to go, do you, ma'am? Of course she has. Well, I didn't intend to, love. Uh, not till tonight. And what's happened tonight? Come on, tell us. Shall we put them out of their misery? Might as well. It's just that I happen to think, love, that a woman's place is with her future husband. Oh, Mav, you've not. <laughs> we have. Oh, Ray. Oh. Congratulations, mate. I hope you know what you're letting yourself in for. Yeah, I think so, Ray. That is smashing. I was only saying to Ray. We guessed right. what you were saying to Ray. Yeah, we're not daft, you know. Mind you, it'll be a wrench. Oh, I'll be all right, ma'am. Not you, you daft aper. Tracy. Oh. Oh, I hate leaving her. You don't have to, Blanche. I'm coming back with you, love. Of course she Shut is. Shut up, you. Look, why don't you come back with us for a while? Change of scenery, do Deirdre the world of good. That's not a bad thought, is that? We've got some holidays to come. 
It'd do Fairclough good to get off his backside for a bit. Uh, I take it I am invited. Of course you are. There we are, then. Simple as that. It's been quite a night. <laughs> <laughs> you love, you love me, diddly. <laughs> Jack. Oh, no more for me. Enough's enough. <laughs> Ah, isn't it funny the way things work out? You know, I wasn't looking forward to this evening at all. I'd much rather have gone straight back to the hotel and had an early night. But what can I say after a meal like that? Hmm? Thank you, kind sir. And such charming company. Oh, I doubt very much. I've enjoyed myself and all, you know. She's not a bad old stick in tower, Betty, you know. I say, not so much of the old, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't discussed our contract yet, Jack. Oh, forget it, Mike. It only needs my signature. I've seen your production figures and your delivery dates. If you meet them, then you've got yourself a deal. You can put your shirt on it. And if you can guarantee that I meet Betty every time I come up here, then it'll be a pleasure to do business with you. Way, you'll have me blushing in a minute. Ah, that'll be it, dear. You must come and see me if you come down to London. I will. No, I mean it. So does she. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Could I have your glasses, please? <laughs> I see you, ma'am. Yes, nice. Hey, it's all right, Danny. Love, I'll get it. Rover's return. Uh, no, no, he hasn't. But if I see him, I'll. Yeah. Janet. I'm sorry, love. I didn't recognise your voice. Yeah, well, like I say, if I see him, I'll tell him you. Well, yeah, of course I will if it's that important. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, turn around. Ken Barlow's missus. Janet. Yeah. Been trying to get him all day. Must have been Janice who rang earlier. What's she wanting for? They haven't seen each other for months. I don't know, but by the sound of it, she's desperate. 